In this video, I will show you how to remove this nasty stone guard that gets mildew under it. And I may uh, put a new one on. Whether or not I put a new one on or not, I gotta get that one off. And it's a bitch. This, this is what it uh, looks like when it's off. You know, it's very, uh, now that's been polished. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I removed this vinyl stone guard. The one on the other side was really kind of a pain to get off. Heat gun, we're going to just apply just, you know, a little bit of heat to soften it. So the reason why you want to heat this thing up is so it doesn't fall apart. It does seem to be brittle and by heating it, it's just more rubbery. Even though most of this I had to pick little pieces at a time, some of it did stay together better than the other side and that's because this one I heated and the other one I didn't. So definitely heat it up. This is really tedious. You just have to pick at it and take your time. Every once in a while I got a bigger piece off at once, uh, but I wouldn't use anything other than your fingernails. You won't scratch the paint and peeling this will not pull the paint off. It's um, really just, you gotta be patient. All right, that was ridiculous. Now, uh, spray it down with this. This bug, bug and tar remover works really great. So then it seems to work best to uh, just kind of scrape away. Well, it's not ready yet, but this uh, tar remover will loosen the adhesive. And sometimes a combination of tar remover and goo gun works well. So again, you just have to be patient. I probably spent 20 minutes uh, spraying alternating bug remover and the uh, Goo Gone product and just worked it until it loosened up, uh, scraping a little bit with the paper towel, a little bit with my fingernail, uh, but eventually it does come right off. I think I probably left the product on there for about 15 minutes to start and then just started picking at it. All right, well, that took way longer than I would a total pain in the butt.
Okay, so that's the look after uh, just washing and peeling. I haven't uh, buffed it out or anything and um, you know, it does all come off and you can't see a mark or anything. So if you choose to uh, remove this thing, just give yourself about 30, 40 minutes of nothing but uh, what you just saw and you'll get that thing off. It looks great without it. The mildew under it is just horrible. Anyway, next up, tomorrow, we'll remove these uh, emblems back here. I'm going to replace them with black ones, like this uh, front one up here. So please subscribe so you don't miss that video, and thanks for watching.